my lovelies! Welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to show off the incredible Aurora Flakes and Pigments from Glitter Planet because they are so stunning I felt I needed to do a video with them. So I'm just starting off with a base of white gel polish. I am using Cream Puff from Kiki London. Just applying a nice thin coat of this to start off and then I will cure this in my LED lamp for 60 seconds before applying the second coat. So if when I finished you like the look of this white, I do like it. Personally I found the coverage after two coats really really good. Um, it didn't need a third coat. Um, yeah, liked it. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say there. Um, Please feel free to use my code CINDAHELLY to get you 10% off any orders. I will pop all the details, as always, in the description box down below. Um, but the discount code is always in there if you need to go back and check. So just finishing off this second coat, I will then cure that one for a, another 60 seconds. And now here are the two goodies. So the Aurora Pigment and the Flakes. I am going in with a no wipe top coat here and I'm using my Team Gorgeous Gloss. It is my favourite go-to no wipe top coat. So just applying a nice thin coat over the entire nail uh, and once I have done that I will pop in my LED lamp, just getting rid of some dust there. Don't want any dust or particles or anything that will ruin the finish. Just finishing off and then I will pop this in my LED lamp for a 60 second cure. Now you want to work while the top coat is still quite warm so I'm working quite quickly. Now here is the Aurora pigment and it is like magic. It's honestly it is I've never seen anything like it. It is really different to a lot of the other Aurora re pigments out there. Um, it is beautiful, especially over pastel colours and whites and things like that. So I'm using a silicone tool today. I would quite often use my finger, but I've gone slightly longer with my nails and it wasn't going in the pot very easily. So the silicone tool was better. A little goes a long way. So I'm just picking up a small amount and giving it a good rub in to that no wipe top coat really rubbing it to bring up that shine and sort of rub away any excess particles and doing exactly the same on a second nail so just adding a little bit more rub 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 that's the best way to work with these whether you use a silicon tool an eyeshadow applicator or your finger just rub 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 just keep rubbing it till it's nice and shiny don't get your free edge <coughs> and yeah, I'm just rubbing, <laughs> just cleaning off my tool and look at that, it's magic. So I'm going to put the lid on straight away because knowing me, I'd knock it over or cough or sneeze and it would all fly everywhere. And then using a little fan brush, um, this was from a makeup brush set, dusting away any excess. Don't worry too much about it all around the edge because we'll clean it off when we've finished. And now... I'm just going to clean off my silicone tool with a little bit of gel cleanse um, just to get rid of any excess pigment and now it's time for the flakes and these are just as magical, just as beautiful. I'm going to use my tweezers to take off the um, protective layer because I'll probably end up stabbing a finger in and making everything poof everywhere And but look at the magic that is aurora flakes so exactly the same i'm picking it up with my silicon tool but this time i'm sort of patting it in on first and then rubbing it in this just breaks up the flakes slightly and um spreads them around the idea behind the flakes is that you get sort of a mottled flaky finish not the full pigment like well the pigment, not the full coverage like the pigment um, and I'm doing a fade from the cuticle up the nail so I definitely don't want full coverage with this um, so just adding a little bit at a time giving it a good rub in breaking up those flakes and you could do this as little or as much as you want it's all sort of personal preference and um, 
use every little bit. <laughs> uh, so wiping off my tool again and look at the magic. I mean that is just, oh, it's beautiful, absolutely amazing. So again, lid straight back on so I don't knock it, cough, sneeze, anything like that. And again, I'm going in with my fan brush, getting rid of any excess dust. Giving it a good old dust away. And oh, I could just sit and look at that forever. So now it's time to top coat. I'm again using my Tin Gorgeous Gloss. I am going to start off with a nice floaty coat over first. And by floaty coat, I mean the brush is hardly touching the nail. I'm not applying pressure. I just want to float it over so you don't drag off any of the flakes or the pigment. Um, you don't smudge it anything like that you don't need to uh, add loads of top coat you just need sort of a normal amount but just float it over <laughs> and once I have done this with all of the nails I'm going to do a half cure in that I'm going to cure it for half the time so this is normally a 60 second cure so even my mask can work that one out I'm going to do it for a 30 second cure before applying a second coat and then I will do the full 60 second cure. So just going in with that second coat. Once I had done this and the top coat, coat had cooled, I just went in with some cuticle oil to clean around the edge where that excess pigment was. And then it is complete. But I would give your hands a good wash. So if like me, you are in awe of these, this pigment and flake, you can use my code Helen 10 it'll get you 10% off at Glitter Planet and I cannot recommend these two enough I mean just there's no words needed you just need to look at them uh, but I will leave all the details in the description box as always so thank you so much for watching this watch me work video I do hope you have enjoyed it as always, I will list the products I have used and leave the links in the description box down below. Please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in another video very, very soon. Bye!